hi guys mm, okay they said we should not be saying hi guys that is already sounding somewhere in their ears so hello there welcome to olutela's youtube channel it's your favorite girl olutela today is going to be a quick one i just want to do a review on the movie sugar rush i watched it twice I liked it, but anyway, let's talk about it. So these three sisters found a bag of $800,000, bought a new house, went shopping, they were living their best life and planning to move to the UK. And then this happened. Before I start, let me just say that Nollywood has improved a great deal. The Nigerian movies on Netflix now are beautiful. I'm not talking about the plot or anything, not the storyline of the movie, but the directing, the acting, the cinematography, it is beautiful compared to what we've been doing before. So yes, Nollywood, we're getting there. For Sugar Rush, um, if I'm to rate Sugar Rush over 10, I think I'll give it a 7. Adesua was amazing. She executed her part well. She and Bisola, they did great. I don't know why people are bashing Adesua on Twitter that she's not a good actress. I like how they introduced us to the characters, how they brought Adesua in, how they showed all the Sugar Sisters, Adesua, Bisola, and the last one. I like how they introduced them to us, how they did the whole build up. That was interesting. When Sugar Rush first came out in the cinema, I wasn't going to see it because I was done with going to the movies to see Nigerian movies and I would just be angry after. So I said, I know. Not again, I'm not going to watch this movie in the cinema. But one day, my friend dragged me to the cinema to see it, and I really liked it. I laughed, it was funny. Though I feel like they overdid some parts, like the parts where they found um, dead bodies and the money, that part was too long. They dragged that part. Right, stealing. I dare say that what we're doing right now is activism you don't see one million dollars and then you are there laughing and saying oh are we really stealing the money if we steal the money she be we are taking it back and collecting it from people that we stole it from and bringing it back to us and, uh, and we are distributing it oh yes 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 this is distribution hello hello you are with nothing less than 10 dead bodies and a million dollars what explanation are you doing take the money and run you can see blood you can see gun and then you are wait analyzing is this distribution is this stealing is it how far now how far <laughs> and that takes me to my first question in the movie those two policemen that were sitting down in the car and were waiting in front of the politician's house what exactly were they waiting for because they've been there the whole day so they were there when people went inside to kill them so did they see the people that went inside to kill them because maoli what was his name self maoli guy he was wide awake all through so how did they not see people go inside to kill them did they not hear gunshot did they not so what were they what were they waiting outside exactly for somebody to come and take the money that they already killed themselves for or what then that second policeman william suchemba the light-skinned um short guy I just didn't find him funny like you are a freaking policeman you've undergone some trainings you've gone to police academy why are you stupid why are you going out to be buying a uh, mesuya and laughing with the malam guy that is selling indomie ah. <laughs> why you're in the middle of an operation you're laughing you're joking yeah i beg he was too his own was too much jerry what up why hey my village people are find me and come out feast his joking was too much can somebody really be like that I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think somebody can be that unserious. I mean, you are a professional. For them to be able to have employed him into EFCC, it has to be, he has to have been trained to an extent now. So, why was he joking and playing with Suya guy? And then, who deleted the footage from the EFCC's office? Although, if we use American movie sense to analyze this thing you know how the big corrupt person would always have an insider working in the government's organization so i'm thinking maybe the politicians that are played by toke makewa maybe she had an insider since she's the one that had the footage anyway so she probably had an insider that deleted the video for her right what do you think i think that'll be it and another thing that confused me was the fact that they waited till the next morning to want to burn adesu and the efcc guy maoli 
what happened okay let me let me try and explain what i think happened maybe it was around 6 a.m when it was dark that they were fighting and doing the whole thing so before 7 a.m when the when an equilapos guy went to buy fuel or whatever it is he went to do sun has risen right i think that's a reasonable explanation and where were where were they hiding where was the efcc boss woman and that other funny guy william uchimba and um omoni oboli where were they hiding because they were not in the van where um the sugar mother and the other two sisters were so where exactly were they when this whole thing was happening and then how did they all come together just when they were about to bond there but of course now it's a movie so that's how it happens fine also i feel like as experienced as anikulako was that's banky w when they gave him that briefcase of money he's supposed to have opened it and checked what's inside but let's say he didn't expect those small children to fool him so he took it like that and he did not bother checking until the next morning let's say he didn't check that's fine but another question i have is that how is it that it was the next day or was it not the next day because if it wasn't the next day that they traveled to the uk then anikulako is supposed to have found them if he actually has juju and those five days that they gave them to look for their money they didn't have time to be buying tickets and everything they were so concerned about getting the money and getting their mother back so when did they buy the visa tickets when did they when they buy their when they get their visa when they buy their tickets when they do all these things and if it wasn't the next day then it cannot be possible for them to have gotten away from that anikulako guy because he had juju there's no way you would not have found them there's no way you would not have found them with that juju that he has so what happened when they get their tickets anyway if you have answers to these questions please leave it in the comments below but i really like the part when after they found the money and they went home and they were showing us how they went to buy a car they went to buy shoes yeah that one was real that was interesting i like how they mixed it and, and they kept showing us how they were still dancing in their room and how they are spending money that was really nice i like that part scene where they did that ocean 11 kind of thing where they all disguised to enter it was an interesting watch even though i feel like they overdid the funny part and they dragged some scenes i feel like it was still interesting to watch i mean i watched it twice and i enjoyed it those two times of course there will be mistakes and everything but it was interesting if you haven't seen the movie you should see it nollywood is doing great if you have any explanation to these questions how they waited till the morning to want to burn them or what the policemen were waiting in front of the house to do please or who who deleted the video please if you have any answers to this question please leave it in the comments below <laughs> thank you for watching my review don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share it thank you for watching bye and oh so sweet sugar giving them the one